Hey guys, what's up in this video? I want to show you the Quadrant Benchmark performance on my Galaxy S2 uh, when in the Anno 4.3.1. So let me just show you here in the settings. Here, about phone, and we have the Anno 4.3.1 here. And also, we have the uh, this is the Slim Bean ROM. I'm not overclocked or stuff like that, so this is completely at the stock frequency. The GPU is uh, completely on the stock frequency, so let's just check out here the Quadrant uh, Standard Edition. This is a free app you can install from the uh, Play Store to run benchmarks on your device. So um, it's doing, doing, doing. Okay. Also, it's pretty amazing that the Galaxy S2 is, you know, kind of three and a half year old phone, but uh, it is uh, pretty popping right now because we have Anno 4.3.1 to Anno 4.4.2 uh, available on this on this device, which is pretty cool. And uh, even though Samsung doesn't want to update the device, but you know, developers just won't quit. This device has the ability and has the power to, you know. Uh, to run a KitKat uh, version of Android and also latest version of Jelly Beans, uh, but you know, uh, Samsung has officially stopped at 4.1.2. Um, but still, if you have a Galaxy S2, you can update it to the KitKat as soon as possible. I haven't tried any KitKat ROM right now. I will do, but when I do. I will try out the latest version. So, anyways, we have here the benchmarks. We have 3,798. That's almost close to the 4,000. Also, we have here uh, CP performance 6,089, and we have here the 3D performance on 1,986. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's pretty good uh, benchmarks here. Of course, I haven't overclocked this phone. If if I have uh, the uh, if I have the uh, the Dormex kind installed on this phone, uh, I might have overclocked the device, and I should get uh, the benchmarks uh, score up to 4,200 plus. Uh, but you know, if you want to keep battery, uh, battery, uh, if you want to have your, uh, if you want to keep your device battery friendly, and uh, and also at the same time playing games. Uh, like the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas install, uh, you can you know you you don't need to have our clock uh, our clocking your device. And also, I have uh, tried out Grand Theft Auto. I've also uploaded a video of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas review on the Nf 4.3.1 ROM, and it's working pretty great at uh, you know 30 30 frames per second and 25 frames per second plus, which is pretty great for this device. Uh, on the stock performance, no overclocking or stuff like that. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you do, then please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.